everyone, it's me Tiana and welcome back or to my channel. This is my first DIY in my new apartment, so I'm super excited to show you guys this faux fur vanity stool. It's cute, it's fluffy, it's under $20, so if you're interested, please keep watching. First thing you're going to need is a stool. I got mine from Family Dollar for 5 bucks. I know a lot of people get the one from Ikea that's $5.99, but honestly they're pretty much the same. You'll need a spray paint of your choice. I bought this copper color from Walmart for about $4. Also use a primer to prevent future peeling. This one I borrowed from my dad. You don't need to buy this brand. Rustoleum sells one that's probably a similar price to the spray paint. I got this Dusty Rose from Hobby Lobby for around $8 for 3 quarters of a yard. Also need scissors and a hot glue gun. So I begin by removing the black covers from the stool. So the first thing I do is prime my stool, and if you have an expensive jewelry, remember to take it off before you start spray painting. And now on to the fun part, the spray painting. And remember to spray in a back and forth motion. And don't try to do it all in one coat, you're most likely going to have to do two coats. So I let my stool dry overnight. The spray paint does dry pretty quickly, but just to be on the safe side, give it 24 hours. So if you ever lived in a college dorm, you're probably familiar with this bed foam. But if not, you can use any sort of foam they sell at the craft store or cushion or pillow, whatever. So I just start off by cutting around the stool just so I can get a general idea of how big I want it. You're going to want to cut closely around the stool because if it's too wide, it will be wobbly and unstable. So for me, the most cost efficient option was using this memory foam because it was something I already had. I also considered using old throw pillows or just other stuff around the house. Really get creative so that way you don't waste your money when you don't have to. So I did this four times, which in my opinion is just right. You don't want it too tall because of the wobbly factor, but this way it's still nice and soft. Okay, so once your hot glue gun is nice and hot, we're gonna just glue all the cushions together to make one big cushion. Now that we have it to our desired size, we're going to glue the cushion onto the stool. Alright, so now we're going to go grab our faux fur or whatever material you decided to use and we're gonna cut it to the right shape. I bought three quarters of a yard, which ended up being too big, so now I'm just gonna see how much I actually need. So don't cut the fur how I'm cutting it right now. I'll show you how to properly cut it in the next clip. So you're not actually going to cut the fur. You wanna cut in between and just cut that material on the back. This prevents the fur from getting all over the place. The woman who cut my fur at Hobby Lobby told me this tip and it really works. So now we're on to the most stressful and the most important part and that's putting the fur on the stool. It's pretty easy but you just want to make sure you get it on there nice and tight so you don't have any lumps. I really just want to get it as flat as possible. It doesn't have to look perfect because it's on the bottom of the stool and that's not going to be visible. And those little pegs we took off at the beginning we're just going to attach them back if you choose to you might not want to put them back but I did I thought it just made it look more complete okay and now you're done you have this really cute stool it looks like it's from the store it's super fluffy and for me it fits perfectly at my vanity thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it helpful and my battery's about to die so god